Chapter 33 Sending Off Kang Tion nodded at his words. He had heard a little about it, but it was not half related to him, so he did not inquire in detail. Wong Tixiong continued, the Li family's ancestry, and to be a collateral descendant of the capital city Li family, and in the past. When the Li family was in decline, the capital city Li family naturally couldn't look at it. But nowadays, the Li family has produced a Li Chongjiao, highly valued by the capital Li family head, and specially granted a city to the Li family, and tomorrow the entire Li family will be relocated to Heavy Iron City. A. Kang Chion's face was full of surprise when he heard this. It seemed that he did not think that the Li family had such a relationship with the capital city. What made him even more dumbfounded was that the capital city's Li family had bestowed a city pool to Li Chunjiao. This was undoubtedly a great honor. However, this didn't have anything to do with their Wong family R. On the contrary, the Li family leaving Heavy Iron City would only benefit their Wong family. After all, was there one less powerful competitor? Why was Grandpa's brow furrowed? Kang Tion was puzzled in his heart. Wong Tixiong's face was a bit ugly. His voice was low. You all know about Wong Ting and Li Chunjiao having a marriage contract. The second elder has already decided that their family will leave Heavy Iron City together with the Li family and will be separated from the Wong family from now on. Kang Chon's face changed when he heard this. He finally knew why. The second elder was looking at Li Chunjiao's future at this time, so naturally, he could not see the Wong family. After contemplating for a while, Kang Tion raised his head. A trace of ice coldness flashed in his eyes as he firmly said to Grandfather, Since someone looks down on our Wong family, why should we force ourselves to stay? One day, grandchildren will make them regret it. Wong Tixiong revealed a hint of a pleased smile and patted the table. Good, rather, it is Grandpa who has fallen short. This kind of person who has no sense of family responsibility at all. Our Wong family does not need. Kang Chion smiled at his words. At the same time in his heart, he once again increased the pressure on himself. He told himself that this was a world where the strong were honored, and without strength, one was nothing. However, the second elder is after all a member of the Wong family. Tomorrow when they leave, we should still go to see them off a bit. And at the same time, we can't let others underestimate our Wong family. Wong Tixiong said in a deep voice, Tomorrow, grandson will go with you. Kang Tion nodded dot dot Lin family. What? The Li family is relocating Heavy Iron City. It's really heaven's help. Now my Lin family's plan to dominate Heavy Iron City alone is half. Complete. It seems like the heavens are on our side this time. Lin Wei said with a face full of excitement after receiving the news of the Li family's relocation. On the side, his son, Lin Zhuan, the leader of the young generation of the Lin family, worried, but father, that Wong Chuan has a cultivation level of the ninth level of the foundation establishment stage. If he breaks through to the Jidan stage in the future, will our Lin family be able to control him? Lin Wei revealed a mocking smile at his words, silly child. Do you think we will let him break through the Jidan stage of life? When your grandfather comes out of the gate, that's when their Wong family will be destroyed. From now on, there will only be our Lin family in Heavy Iron City. Lin Zhuan sniffed indistinctly, the corner of his mouth pulled up a cruel smile. Early the next morning, the gates of Heavy Iron City were filled with silhouettes, literally a sea of people. This was the Lee family preparing to leave Heavy Iron City, and many people had come to watch. Heavy Iron City or It's really a bit sad to leave, the head of the Lee family. Li Tian Fang stood in front of the city gates, looking at the familiar ancient and simple city in front of him with a lot of emotions. The Lee family had experienced dozens of generations in this city and had deep feelings for this place. So naturally, he was a little reluctant to leave. Still, Li Chongjiao, who was standing beside him, was more calm. He lightly said, Grandpa, 
When our Lee family is strong, we can completely send people to take over Heavy Iron City. At that time, if Grandpa wants to come back, he can do so at any time. It's still Chun Jiao who sees things through. Lee Tian Fang gave this precious grandson of his a gratifying glance and then said to the surrounding group of Lee family elders, Our Lee family left Heavy Iron City with honor this time, and when we come back again, we will make the entire Heavy Iron City tremble. Yes, the crowd of Lee family children replied, excitement showing in everyone's eyes. Among the crowd, Wang Ting looked at the familiar ancient city in front of him with complicated eyes, and murmured in a low voice, this departure, is it right or wrong? Beside him, the second elder of the Wong clan patted her head and said kindly, Let's go. Leave this city. We'll be in two worlds with them from now on. He was very excited in his heart. In the Wong family, he had no power and no strength. But by clinging to the Li family, he still had the chance to break through the Jidan stage. And Li Chongzhou would undoubtedly become the head of the Li family in the future and his granddaughter Wong Ting's status would naturally become the main mother of the Li family. Wong Ting nodded. Her mind was very complicated at the moment. Soon after, the Li family bade farewell to the townspeople and elders in the city, and the large troop began to depart. In front of the city gates of Heavy Iron City, the entire Li family walked out of the city gates with great vigor, their chests puffed out and their heads held high as they moved forward. Around them, many of the residents of Heavy Iron City came to watch. They all knew that the Lee family had developed this time. And one by one, they watched with envy as the Lee family's children left. And in their hearts, they couldn't wait to be one of them. Next to the large group of people, on top of the flying white tiger, stood several silhouettes there were the seven elders of the capital city Lee family, as well as the young children of the capital city Lee family, who had arrived together, as well as Li Chongjiao and Li Tianfang among them. Li Tianfang was completely let up by the seventh elder for Li Chongjiao's sake. Otherwise, where would he be qualified to ride the flying white tiger? This is a demonic beast. Li Tianfang looked at the flying white tiger under his feet his face flushed red, his heart incomparably excited. On the contrary, Li Chongjiao, who was on the side, was full of indifference, just scanning his eyes for something in the crowd. His bland appearance caused the seventh elder of the Li family, who was paying attention to him on the side to secretly marvel. Not only is this son's talent extraordinary, but even his mind is so calm. Perhaps, our Li families that one has met an opponent this time, I just don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing for the Lee family. In addition to the seventh elder, secretly focusing on Lee Chongjiao, the young son of the Lee family, who came from the capital to the side, was also secretly focusing on Lee Chongjiao. He saw Lee Chongjiao searching for something in the crowd and couldn't help but joked, Cousin Chongjiao, isn't the younger sibling already here? What are you still searching for? Could it be that brother still has a golden house to hide his daughter? He was the grandson of the seventh elder, called Li Ji, and this time the seventh elder brought him here to purposely allow him to contact Li Chongjiao first and then make good friends with the other party. Of course, Li Ji originally looked down on Li Chongjiao as a country bumpkin, but after a secret competition, he changed his view and now he has long since called Li Chongjiao his brother. In the end, it's still strength that counts. Cousin is joking. I am looking for an opponent. I don't know if he will come today. Leaving today, I don't know when we can meet. What a pity. Li Chongjiao laughed blandly. For this capital city, Li family children in front of him, although disdain, but for the future of the family, or to make good relations, after all, the other party's grandfather. The seventh elder in the capital city Li family is a high position of power. Oh, is there a cousin's opponent in this small place? Then cousin would like to see it. Li Ji heard surprised. He for Li Chongjiao can grow in this kind of small place to the seventh level of the foundation. Establishment stage has been shocked enough 
thought Li Chunjiao is the strongest of the young generation of the heavy iron city, did not think that he's still of rivals. Li Ji shocked at the same time. There is jealousy. For Li Chunjiao, he can accept, after all, has previously been informed. And the other side is, after all, they are the people of the Li family, can still be Li Ji, has the Li family's fine traditions. But he absolutely cannot allow such a small place. There is more than the people have this kind of qualification. On the side, the Li family seven elders heard also some surprise. To the side of Li Tianfang inquired, that person is also Chun Jiao, this age not. Li Tianfang didn't dare to slack off, compensated with a smile, and said, that person's age is still a few years younger than Chun Jiao, he just had his bar mitzvah not long ago. That's impossible. A cry of alarm came from that Li Ji, who was full of disbelief. How is it possible to have a cultivation at the seventh level of foundation establishment when he just turned 18? Even if he took the foundation establishment pill first, it's impossible for him to reach this level. The seventh elder was also in disbelief and looked at Li Tianfang suspiciously. Li Tianfang's face was full of anxiety. He didn't want to leave a bad phenomenon in the seventh elder's mind. But he didn't know how to explain. After all, if he hadn't seen Kang Chon's performance at the bar mitzvah with his own eyes, he wouldn't have believed it to be true either. He's here. At this moment, a brilliant light shot out from Li Chunjia's eyes above the flying white tiger, and he fiercely looked towards the crowd. The seventh elder and Li Ji immediately followed Li Chunjia's gaze when they heard this. They wanted to see if this person was really as Li Tianfang had said. Good. I would like to see who the opponent is that Brother Chunjia is talking about. A cold light flashed in Li Ji's eyes as he coldly swept towards the middle of the crowd. In the middle of the crowd, Wong Tixiong walked up with Kang Tian, the Li family children who were maintaining order all knew Wong Tixiong. So they naturally didn't dare to block them and led them to the front of the flying white tiger. What a powerful demonic beast. It was the first time Kang Tian had seen a demonic beast and a hint of shock flashed in his eyes. This kitten is not strong, but the meat is good very tasty. The voice of the Dan Emperor inside his body came out. Kang Chon was speechless. This kind of words could only be said by the Dan Emperor. In his place, a single claw of the flying white tiger would be able to destroy him. At this time, Wong Tixiong had already greeted him and laughed at Li Chion Fang. How come Brother Li left Heavy Iron City without informing Mr. Wong? Our two families have been friends for so many years. Could it be that Brother Li is looking down on our Wong family? Li Chion Fang stepped down from the flying white tiger, revealing a face full of smiles as he shook his head. Brother Wong is joking. It's not that I heard that Brother Wong was impacting the Jiden stage and didn't dare to disturb. This was purely an excuse, mainly because he had abducted the Wong family's second elder's family, which made him not have the face to face Wong Tixiong only. But then again, when he became the head of the Li family, because the Lin family was dominant, the relationship between the Wong family and the Li family was quite good. And for Wong Tixiong, he still had some recognition. Older brother is leaving. Mr. Wong has to come to see him off even if he has something bigger to do. Wong Tixiong shook his head and laughed. Speaking of which, he and Li Tianfang were enemies as well as friends. Now that the Li family had left Heavy Iron City, there would be no more interest entanglements with the Wong family, making him a little emotional for a while. Li Tianfang was the same. He looked at the old rival and friend in front of him for so many years, and said with some excitement, older brother's true nature, but it was Mr. Li who was small-minded before. The past is the past. Wong Tixiong laughed and shook his head. The two of them quite a bit of a laugh to end their enmity. Right, there is something to remind Brother Wong. I saw your Wong family's Wong Chun and Lin family's Lin Wei secretly. Coming and going the other day. Brother Wong should still be careful. Li Chun Fang said in a low voice. Wong Tixiong's face changed, but immediately returned to normal. He somewhat couldn't believe that this was true. 
After all, their Wong family and the Lin family didn't have a good relationship. How could Wong Chon be associating with Lin Wei? Moreover, who knew if Li Tian Fang would swing at him on his way out? He wouldn't believe that Li Tian Fang really laughed away his grudges with him. However, he and the third elder's lineage were already at odds, so he didn't dare to be sure of the truth or falsity of Li Tian Fang's words. Older brother has the heart. Wang Tixiong pondered for a moment and nodded. Li Tian Fang secretly shook his head. He knew that Wang Tixiong didn't believe him. It would be the same in his place. After all, they were still rivals in the past. 